What's up guys? It's your favorite brother fishing duo. We are going out for some tarpon. What else? Snug and reds, hopefully. Yeah, so we're gonna see if we can get on some fish today. We don't have a crazy game plan, but we're gonna see what we can do. There's some thunderstorms looking at our tails. Uh, it's a little bit chilly, but we're gonna go and have fun anyway. See you guys out there. Yeah. trying to catch bait and we keep catching stupid trout. Yeah man, we're trying to catch some bait here and trout keep hitting. We want ladyfish, not trout. Catch some more of those. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on. Right. We are on, it could be a shark. No, it's tarpon. You think? Yes. All right, we're gonna have to protect this fish. We're, there are a lot of boats going around right now. Stop, stop, stop. You can put more pressure on it too. I mean, you know. I know, but. Yeah, might as well play it lighter. It's probably a really big fish and it's just staying low. Very bizarre. Angle us to the left a little bit. Very bizarre fighting fish. What the crap is this? It's heavy. It's heavy? Move some stuff here. It's gonna be a shark. I feel like it's a shark. I feel like it's a shark. This thing's dead. This is a shark, Nick. Yeah. This is a shark. Do you think a bull? It, it didn't. It didn't have laceration marks on the. Oh, you're right. It just had. You're right. You are completely right. Brian's just over there like, uh... Is that Brian? Yeah, it's Brian. Hi, Brian. Those two hits really fast. Yeah. Hey, Nick. This is right where you left off, fighting a really big fish without a fighting belt. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we, we, we're, we're in the channel, turning, we're in the channel, and uh, it's not the warmest day, so these, these tarpon are a little bit lackadaisical. It's also not that cold, but it's been cold for three days straight where it's like sub, sub, uh, you know, 70 degree temperatures, so they're kind of, uncomfortable. yeah, oh, that was big, big head shake, big head shake. If this is a stingray. It's not, I, I'm going to tell you it's not a bunch of head shakes. It's not a stingray because it, it bit on the surface. Come on, give us a show. It feels like a tarp based on that head shake, dude. Yeah. Here we go. Nope, that's just, that's just. Here we go. What is it? Dude, that's just the ladyfish. I can't even see the leader. Oh, well, dude, the leader's like a couple feet long. Yeah, we didn't use a long leader, huh? No, we did not. I know, I want to see it too. I looked over and I saw it, and I was like, well, I'm standing like, what? <laughs> Look at the rod! Yeah, you did it way too calm. That's why normally when we're hooked up to a tarp and you flip out. Because it like, wasn't bending or stripping drag. Is this gonna be like the sailfish where we think it's gonna be a really quick fight that ends up being eight hours? <laughs> well guys, I think we, we, we were set up for a total of five minutes, maybe eight minutes. We got two hits? Yeah, we got two hits and then fish on. Oh, dude, something just blew up right there. You see that? Are we in gear? No, don't be. We're out of gear, we're out of gear. Should I go forward? Oh, he's going. He is dumping line. Don't go for him. I want to see him. Yeah, he is. You ready to go 
by me. Here he comes, here he comes. He's about to go. He's either gonna jump, take a breath, and then go. Here he goes. Oh, dude, you stopped him. Here he goes, here he goes. Here He's he jumped. Oh my gosh, dude, that is such a big tarp, man. Alright, I gotta get back on him. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Stop going for it, I'm gonna come up there with it. He's right there, dude. He's about to go. He's about to go. You see him? Oh my. He's about to do a little takeoff here, isn't he? Yeah. I'm gonna click it down and see where I know it's a little hard to see, guys, because you're right in the sun. But y'all, oh my gosh. The only reason, the only reason that we are able to keep this fish so close to the boat and we're able to get this fish so quickly to the boat is because of the temperature outside. All and that's right. it. We gotta steer him away from the buoy. Yeah. Here he is. Here he goes, here he goes. That jump. Right here. here he goes. Oh my gosh, no, he's just running for freaking Mexico now. Go get on get him. Yeah, we're just in a tug of war at the moment, man. Oh, yeah, he's coming to the surface. Take that breath of air from him. There you go. Don't let him take that breath. Don't let him take that breath. There we go. So what he's doing right now is when you're fighting a big tarpon and he comes up to the surface to take a breath, you can actually take the air from him. Oh, there he is. Make it so that he can't get his breath, and when they get their breath, they get a second wind, and that's when they take ah. off. Oh, there she blows. There she blows down yonder. All right, guys, we're like 30 minutes into this fight. Nick is still going on this fish, and it's it doesn't seem like it's going to end soon. I don't know, maybe 40 minutes. We haven't really been counting, but how you doing there, kid? He's been working out, so he should be good. Oh yeah. Big old tarpoon. He got a second win. Every time he gets that, uh, oh, here he goes. He's gonna jump, he's about to jump, he's about to jump. He's gonna down. Should I get back in front of him? Little update guys. We're in about an hour and 15 minutes coming up on. And uh, this thing is doing the exact same thing it did at minute five. Uh, the big problem with the tarpon that's this big that doesn't jump because of the weather is it kind of keeps a lot of its energy. It doesn't have as much explosive energy, but it does just have that grinding power to where it can just sit there and pull and pull and pull, specifically because it never jumped and tired itself out. So we'll give you another update in a little bit. Hopefully we will have the fish a lot closer. Just to give you guys some reference, we started fighting this fish. Let's see if I can find it way over there i think our anchor line's actually still at the oh that that jetty that's still at the tip of that jetty so hopefully somebody didn't take our anchor line thinking that we left it that would suck yeah we tied our anchor line off to a life jacket because we didn't think we were going to be on this fish for two freaking hours but it's starting to look like it yeah we tied it off like oh maybe we should tie off we're using some big baits probably going to hook up on a big fish and then it happened, and we chucked it overboard, and nah, we forgot our buoy today. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. All right, guys, it is right here. He's chilling right under our boat. He's been right here the whole time, but like this time we actually. Yeah, this time he seems tired. He seems tired. I think we're about to get to see him right here. 
Nah, he's about to take back off. But uh, yeah, we're coming up on about an hour and 45 minutes at this point. Oh, wow. Oh, dude, he, he flipped over. He flipped. He flipped. Yeah, he kind of put him on his head. There we go. He's tired. He is tired. The well, silver the king. Most people lose the fish next to the boat. Yeah, most people lose the fish right about here. So if we lose this guy, look, I'm going to have to go down and land this fish because Nick forgot his GoPro mount again. So hopefully, hopefully we can, you know, next time we get a video is going to be of us either holding the fish or not. He's about to take under the boat. Backbreaker, dude. You good? It's a little bit choppy out here because the, no the north wind and the south swell are hitting each other. I'm letting you go. Ready? Video. It's right there. He's right there. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's deep. Turn it back up. Holy Ooh, cow. Baby. Holy cow. That is a big freaking tarpon, Nick. Ah, uh, that's the biggest one you've ever landed. landed. If, we, if we can land it. We've lost a lot of really big ones. We've, we've lost 200 plus pounders. Um, this would be the biggest one he's ever landed if we can get this one in. There he is. Oh, would you take it? Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Flip, up, flip, flip, flip. He's got remorse on it. If you can flip them on their head, that means they are tired and done. Jeez, man. The backbreaker. How you doing? You good? Chilling. You good? See, he's been working out, so he should be fine. Yeah, he is. He's Jay chilling, man. Ah, well, there goes all the line we should gain. Dang, Austin touched the fish and I, then he I, took off. I touched the fish and it did not like me, man. Let's get back up on it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on this fish, but the thing just absolutely took off. All right, he's right here. This is where seriously most tarpon are lost. People start horsing it. The the line gets frayed up a little bit, and it just you know it's it's not as strong as it used to be, and it snaps off. It happens all the time. We're coming up on probably two hours fighting this fish. And if it happens, it happens. You know, that's tarpon fishing. We touched it. We didn't even literally touch the fish. We touched the fish. Was it IGFA? Or is that, is that marlin? IGFA is a billfish. It's a billfish. Bill leader, though. I, I don't know what the other one is, but I, I know that if you get a leader touch on a tarpon in any fishing tournament, it's got fish. I don't know how long the leader is, but our leader is three feet long. So I think it's definitely a caught fish at this point. If you can, it like that. But we, we like to touch it flipping like that. Here we go. We're about to get another shot right here. I'm about to grab him. Put the phone down. Get him, get him. Fish, landed. Landed fish, landed fish, grab, man. Grab the video, grab the video. Got a video. Woo! Woo! All right, putting it in gear. Oh my gosh, that's it. All right. A little bit quicker here. Landed fish, guys. Landed. So fat. Monster tarpon. I don't know how big this is. Look at my hand, guys. Look at my hand. This is the thickest freaking tarpon, guys. We're gonna make sure and get a good release on here. There he goes. Take it away. Let's go! Woo! Let's freaking go, baby! Woo! Oh my gosh! And we got a good release. That's the most important part. He well. kicked off. He's fine. Holy cow. Look how Woo! Far away from this freaking island we are. You guys, look how far we fought that. Here. Look, look at this, guys. Take right. off my glove. I'm still going. It's still going. All right, guys. Look at this. Wait, he barely even frayed it. Look at this. Oh, it's frayed, but. Look at this. Circle it was, hook. Look, at, look, it's frayed right here. It was here. a really good hook set. I don't know if you guys look can see it. Zoom in. Look how short this leader is. Our leader is not <laughs> long at all. Look how frayed up that is. Let's go! Let's go! Biggest you're tarpon bleeding, to date. Bleeding. Where? On your right hand. My right hand? Yeah. It's not a good day until you're bleeding, right, Nick? Oh, yeah. Woo! Solid, dude. Solid fish. How's your back doing? Two yeah, hours. I'm good. Oh, that was awesome. Freaking awesome. Got, you just got your biggest tarpon ever. How you feel? Landed. I mean, Landed. I mean, we <laughs> hooked like 250 pounders. That was yeah. You hook 200 pounders, you go, bye, have fun in Mexico, and Rats, they just take off. Oh jeez! All right, we are we are this far from the island. I'm zooming in; you can barely see it. We are so far out. We fought that thing forever. Wow, dude, that was. Hey, good job, Captain. Good freaking fish.
Boom. Couldn't have done without you, but two man operation. Always the two man. If man, if you guys come out here, one person trying to fight these fish, good luck. That's all I said. Good luck. You need two people on a boat to catch tarpon. Anything 100 plus, two people. Hey, what's going on, guys? We are back off the water. We uh, we hooked that tarpon about five minutes in after anchoring off. Casted some baits out and hooked up almost immediately. Fought that one for about two hours, 15 minutes, maybe 220. It was ended up being 180 to 190 pound fish. Probably being conservative, it was really really fat. Uh, junior state record tarpon, mostly just because no one's ever turned one in. So every tarpon that like I've caught. Or even that Austin Scott when he was below 18 were junior state record tarpon. Yeah, so technically junior state record is now probably about 180 pounds. You guys let us know in the comments how big you think it was. We were guessing 180 to 190 pounds. Whatever you guys think, let us know. Alright guys, we will catch you on the next video. Like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Hey, and if you guys ever want to do this, uh, one of the best guys out here is Brian Barrera. Hit him up, he can get you on some awesome tarpon, some awesome snook in the ship channel. He's about as good as they come. So you guys want to do this, I know you guys ask all the time if we'll take you out, that guy will take you out. He actually hooked up on four today. So, you know, yep, let him know, give him a call. Later guys.